Yo guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you. I'm recording a third video in a day. Oh my god, I'm pre-recording. What is this? So I wanted to talk today about the pizza deliveries. I know these videos are not what most of you came to my channel for. You came for like the Android modding, 1320 Legends, um, or Forever, uh, 1320 Challenge, which I left that behind me. Um, or just like other game modding tutorials in general and that kind of stuff but i really don't have an option i want to give you guys some stuff to like watch or listen to so this is really only my best bet but i wanted to talk today about the pizza delivery job that i had so in the last video i talked about sprint how i was let go from sprint due to poor management decisions of basically just ignoring me and firing me because of stupid reasons like uh you know not signing me up for a training and the store failing an audit because of it now this one, I talked about how I had moved out to to a mile, or a mile, an hour and a half to two and a half hours away from home for this girl, got the job out there. Well, when I first moved there, I got a job delivering pizzas. Now, here's the stupidity about that. One, I got a job delivering pizzas. Two, I got a job delivering pizzas in a city I had never lived in. I didn't know where I was going. If my GPS died in my car, it took me forever to find a fucking place because the cigarette lighter in my car didn't work, so I couldn't charge my phone on the job. I had to just hope that I was only on for the not-so-busy of nights. And three, I was delivering pizzas in the dead of winter in, like, the worst place in Ohio to deliver pizzas in the dead of winter. If it snowed, it was either no snow or, or, or it was, oh my god, I can't see five feet in front of me because it's just a wall of snow falling from the sky. That's the area of Ohio I lived in for that short time period. I delivered pizza for three weeks. That's it. It was three weeks. I didn't do anything else when it came to that job. I delivered pizzas for three weeks and then was illegally fired. Now, what ended up happening was kind of my own fault, but still, technically, they weren't allowed to fire me for it. So what ended up happening was there was one day that I was delivering pizzas, and there's this weird thing about me that happens. Hold on, I'm going to kill an ant. Okay, the ant's dead. Anyway, so delivering pizzas, what I was doing was just, that's all I was doing. I, I would go in, I would make the salads, and I would deliver the pizzas. That was my job. Well, what ended up happening was there's this weird thing about me that I'll wake up on certain days and I'll feel this weird way where like, and this has happened every single time I've gotten into a car accident, a little foreshadowing. So I got in a car accident on the job, but I like woke up that morning and I was like, I shouldn't go to work today. I'm going to total a car. I knew. It's just one of those things that I know these things are going to happen. And for me, when I realize it's a Friday the 13th, I always have bad luck. It doesn't matter what, when, why, where, how. I always have bad luck on Friday the 13th. Now, this was February 13th, 2013. So this was exactly four years after the last time I had major bad luck on a Friday the 13th. Uh, and what ended up happening was I went to work and I was there for maybe an hour and a half. Did like five or six deliveries, felt fine after a while, didn't think I was going to get in a car accident. And then I'm delivering this pizza. And keep in mind, I'm using my ex-fiance's car because my car had an issue with heat and this was still in the dead of winter. But it was a sunny day. Granted, there was still snow on the ground, but it was a sunny day. And it was pretty nice out. So I'm delivering this pizza. And this guy that I'm driving behind just stops. He stops for no reason. And I'm not, like, following super closely. But I'm looking down at my GPS for just a second, which is what makes the accident my own damn fault. Look down at my GPS for a second. And I ram into the back of him at, like, 35, 40 miles an hour. I, I hit him very hard. Um, probably one of the ver worst wrecks I've ever had, except for when I totaled my first car, which I could tell that story too, I guess. This 
entire series doesn't have to be all about me getting fired from jobs. But, uh, so I rammed into the back of him because of looking at my GPS for just a second. And even, even then, my GPS wasn't, like, in my lap. It was on a phone holder on the dashboard. So, like, out of the corner of my eye, I saw it happen, but it was too late for me already to react, so I just hit him anyway. Now, there was something really special about this accident, and why it actually wasn't written up as my fault, even though it definitely was my fault, one thing that I want to say is my ex, I want to commend her for how she reacted to the accident. She loved that car. It was her favorite color. She loved the car. She'd had it less than a year. It was a month from having it for a year. She loved the car. She came up to the pizza place. She had to leave work to come see me, see her car. She ended up taking my car to work because she just, that was the only option she had. Came up, saw the car, saw the condition it was in. The thing crumbled like a beer can. I hit the back of a Jeep. And it had its, like, spare tire on the outside, on the back, like, trunk hatch. I rammed into that thing so hard. The airbag deployed. Car was still drivable. Wasn't leaking fluids by some miracle. Um, car was still drivable. Although you couldn't see over the hood. I limped back to work, took the pizzas inside. And when I pulled up to the door, I pulled up so, like, the guy could literally see <laughs> me pull up in a wrecked car. He started laughing and smiling and just knew what end of, what was going to end up going on. Um, and just went from there. And my ex showed up. I'll give her shit till the day I die because she cheated on me. Um... And, you know, just that that's all I'm going to get into with that. She cheated on me like hardcore. But so she came up. I could tell she was mad, but she reacted in such a way that she was happy I was okay. She, you know, she hugged me and said she loved me and all that stuff. Glad you're okay didn't get mad at me for it for when I explained the situation. So what ended up happening was it wasn't like the guy was stopping for a stop sign or something. There was nobody in front of him stopping for a stop sign. He just stopped. He didn't have a signal on. He didn't show that he was turning. He didn't do any of that. He just stopped. And I rammed into the back of him because of it. Well, I got, I memorized his license plate because for some odd reason, here's where it gets weird. He ran from the scene of the accident. Naturally, I got my phone out as quickly as I possibly could at, while I was dazed as shit and somehow snapped a picture of his license plate. I don't know how I did it. I was dazed and confused, basically. Like, I was literally the definition of that movie. Um, wait, no, the airbag didn't go off. That's right. The car crumbled like a beer can and the airbag didn't go off. Could have probably sued Pontiac for that because it was a 2009 Pontiac G6 or something like that. Airbag didn't deploy from this horrendous looking accident. He left the scene. He just drove away. Didn't exchange insurance info. Didn't give me his license information. He drove away because his Jeep was fine. Oh, my Jeep's fine. That's cool. I'll just leave. That's illegal. It's illegal to leave the scene of an accident, for one, but I gave the police officers his license plate by the picture. I sent the picture from my phone to one of the cop's phones, and I found something out. They got his license plate number and went, oh, we've been looking for this guy. He's wanted in this county of Ohio. So, like I said in the last video, I lived out in Geneva, which is in what's known as Ashtabula County. Um, good luck spelling that if you're not from Ohio without cheating and looking it up on Google. He left the scene of the crime because he had a warrant for his arrest for selling and possession of illegal narcotics. He was wanted for possession of literal scarface mountains of cocaine. He was smuggling cocaine into Ashtabula County, into Ohio, and selling it. 
that's literally how the cops described it to me when they saw the license plate number. They were like, we need this guy. This is the guy we've been looking for. So because of me hitting the guy, literally marking his Jeep with purple paint and giving them the license plate number and telling them where it happened, and it was all within maybe 15 minutes, so he couldn't have gotten too far. There's a motorcycle flooring it on the highway. Um, they were able to arrest him, and because of that, they ended up writing up the accident as a stolen car vandalism report. Not a, you're going to get a ticket because the accident's your fault, but as a vandalism report. Like, somebody stole the car, they weren't able to find who stole the car, and they wrecked it. So it didn't hurt my insurance, it didn't hurt my ex's insurance. It was just a payout from the insurance. There was no rhyme or reason against it, and I will always feel bad for wrecking her car. I'll also always feel bad for the one time I accidentally punched her in the face um, during happy, happy, snoo, snoo, fun time. Um, Futurama people will get that. Uh, taking my shirt off and I punched her in the face by accident because I slipped. <laughs> I'll always feel bad about that, and I'll always feel about wrecking her favorite car. Because she got this ugly-ass Crown Vic afterwards that was just a gas guzzler of a car. And still. So this guy was a known cocaine dealer. They arrested him. They wrote the accident off as a vandalism report, as, like, somebody stole the car and they weren't able to find who stole it. But we got the car back, quote-unquote. Like, I got the car back myself or something because I found it and I had the key on me. And then I got fired from the pizza place. Technically, it's illegal to fire somebody and not cover them on your pizza place's insurance if they get in an accident on the job. That's where it was illegal. And if I had been there for longer than three weeks, we could have sued them for it, and I would have won a bunch of money. I also probably should have sued Pontiac because the airbags didn't go off, but again, didn't think about it. Nobody really did. And that's just what ended up happening. Um, I've been screwed out of cars many times. I've been screwed out of my first car when I got my first accident by the insurance companies. Uh, kind of got screwed. Well, that was a win, actually, for total. Even though I totaled a car, that was kind of a win. But, like, I just knew I was going to get in an accident that day. Every time I've gotten in a car accident, I've woken up that way where I'm like, I'm going to get in an accident today. I need to drive very carefully. And then no matter what, I can't avoid it. So that's what happened with the pizza shop. That's why I got fired from that pizza shop. Damn good pizza. Damn terrible ownership because they just didn't know how to deal with an accident on the job and they didn't cover it on their insurance like they were supposed to. But so that's what happened there. Now, if you guys want more of these videos, obviously they're kind of being forced down your throat because my desktop isn't working and I just want to pre record some stuff to throw up there until my desktop is fixed. Well, my desktop is fixed. I need to put it back together, but I'm waiting on uh, some Arctic Silver to come in the mail for my processor and my GPU. Because I took that and tore that all down, redid the thermal paste on that and everything as well. Um, Reflowed all the VRAM chips and the main GPU chip. Uh, and I also did uh, a delitting to my Intel i7-6700K processor so I can get some better temperatures from it. But that's what happened with the pizza shop. Um, yeah, it, it, it sucked because that car was cool. We actually still ended up going on the vacation that I had purchased for us uh, that next, um, literally the next day we were gone for three days. We went to Kalahari for three days and it was a boatload of fun. Um, found out I very much don't like water slides, which kind of sucked, but there were bowling alleys and shit there. So that was a ton of fun for us. We just were constantly bowling because the package I got was through Radio Shack before I left Radio Shack. And it came with all you wanted free bowling. So we just spent our time bowling for like an entire weekend, sitting in hot tubs, um, whole nine yards. I didn't drink at the time, so we didn't have like alcohol and stuff in my hotel room and like get wasted and all that shit. Uh, but it was a ton of fun. And it all stemmed from accidentally totaling a car while on the job at a pizza shop. So, but I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys are having a good weekend, or whenever this goes the fuck up, because it'll be 
probably a week from today that it goes up. Now that I'm thinking about it, I've done so many videos today. But I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.